There's nothing left to hide You've seen my dark side before you do anything else, you want to get two bowls and have one with hot water and one with cold. And what we're going to be using today is this amazing little plastic called polymorph. And what you want to do is pour some of the pellets into the hot water, wait for it to melt a little bit, and you're going to need to use something like a fork or a knife, anything to mix it around because it is going to be too hot for you to dip your hands in the bowl if you want this to melt. I'm going to take it out and start mixing it up with my fingers. If you let it melt enough, you're not going to see these little clear bubbles of plastic. I didn't leave mine to melt for quite long enough, but it was melted enough for me to start using it. So what I did is I flattened it out into a triangle shape and then curled it in to make a little bit of a teepee shape. And then I popped it back into the bowl just to melt it a little bit more and make it a little more pliable. And then I'm going to start twisting it around to give it a bit of a curve and with the edge of the fork I'm going to roll that around the edges just to give it a few natural ridges like you would see on a sheep's horns or a goat. It can't look too smooth. If it looks too smooth it's going to look quite fake and you want to try and avoid that. Once you've finished you're going to pop it into the bowl of cold water to make sure that it's really hard and then I'm going to spray paint it with two different colours, a textured brown and then at the very tip I'm going to be using some gold. Once they're painted and dried, I'm going to put them on an Alice band. And first thing I want to do is figure out exactly where I want them to be placed. So I'm just going to take a permanent marker and I'm going to mark that out on the Alice band. And then I'm going to take a glue gun because that's something I obviously never use. And I'm going to stick them down onto the Alice band. Once they've both been stuck down, I just want to cover the bottom up a tiny bit. I'm going to be using some brown nail varnish and using that to cover the very bottom. And then I'm going to taper the edges and to make the colours a little bit more interesting, I'm going to be taking a permanent marker and adding these very tiny dots in between the ridges before I finish off and give one last coat of paint. And then that's it. You're done. Bye.